Welcome everyone, this is John Sheely at imadaytrader.com. We're going to take a look at a particular trading strategy. How to catch a larger profit objective when you see prices are actually setting a new low. Let's take a look. But of course we must have our disclosures. Now remember, trading does carry a large number and a high level of risk. And trading is not suitable for all persons. Also, past returns are not necessarily indicative of future results. Also, you must review our hypothetical disclaimer. It's very important to review each part of the disclaimer. Here I was taking a trade today based upon the price action in the crude oil. And here's how we're setting this up. As you can tell previously, now this is a, between 3 and 4 in the morning, we had a lower price of 48.54. And in our 10 o'clock period, we actually were getting underneath the low by only two cents. So we were looking to see if we were going to have a much larger price move or whether or not prices are going to basically support this particular price level. Let's take a look. Instead, we actually had prices to touch at 48.50 even 48.49, which we'll discuss in a little bit. Prices began to move up. So we're still looking at the trend. Again, this is what we're looking at here in regards to price. We're talking about a 15 minute chart, but the moving averages are now getting very, very bearish. And you can see we've had a bounce, but it wasn't very large. So we're looking for a sell if prices begin to move lower and lower. Now let's go to the end of the story here. I'm using the 233 tick chart for our chart to enter the trade. Now here is that price action that actually bounced at 48.50. We were watching. We're looking at our moving averages and they're beginning to move down. So we're now looking at as a possible short. We also have a certain strategy that we have. It's called the T20. And of course, we teach all of our members how to enter this particular strategy. Prices are beginning to move down and we're looking for now a short position. Here, I went ahead and called the trade into our room and I discussed that we're going to put on a short position. Our stop loss is going to be around the 64 area. So you can say it's a profit objective in this particular case, just under the lows. Stop loss, just above the 64 area. So let's see how prices developed here. We had a sell-off, but I wanted to have a profit objective just underneath the 48.50. Actually, a 48.48, just under the 48.50. But instead, what happened? It touched 48.49, and then it actually bounced up. So I was not filled in regards to my profit objective originally. In fact, as you can tell, we almost had a stop loss that was lowered to our break even price. So I almost was basically out of the trade for a no gain. But what here's what happened. The prices came back to the area and it did not go underneath this support area. Not once, not twice, but actually third time. So what did I do? I canceled my original limit that was just underneath the low. Why did I tell members that I'm going to do that? Because if prices break this level, do I think prices are going to only go down only another one or two cents? Of course not. This is basically building up sell stops just under these lows. So the push of price underneath the new sellers are going to drive prices lower. So what I do, I lowered my profit objective. Originally, I was looking for a profit objective of $100, but instead I lowered my limit because I believed the sellers were going to push prices just a little bit lower. And of course, this was all set up in our room, step by step of why I made changes in our profit objective. And this is the rest of the story. As you tell, prices have come down. They touched the 48.48, but this is where the sell stops then hit and hit again. And so it reached my profit objective of 48.43, an additional $50 for the trade. And it's all because I expected a sellers to drive the price underneath this support area. And of course, I discussed the trade 
very carefully to our members why we adjusted our stop, why we adjusted our profit targets to have a larger profit because we expected a large number of sellers would hit our new lower profit target. I hope you've enjoyed this short video and remember to download our free offer. One is the Truth About Day Trading eBook and our training manual Getting Started as a Day Trader or Swing Trader. You may visit the links in the description of this video or by clicking the book icon that pops up in our screen right now.